How's it going, guys? Today we're going to be talking about Dragon Ball Z Universe 2. We're going to be talking about uh, my feedback on the game so far, the trailers, my feedback on the trailer, and stuff you know we've seen, and you know how I feel about it. We're going to be talking about stuff like that. So enjoy the video, guys. Make sure you like, comment, um, subscribe if you're new. All right, let's get started. Now. Basically, in the trailer, we get to see that the movie villains are the big, you know, deal right now. Like, the movie villains are the ones we're going to be going after fighting. It's no mention of Toa and Mira, but th they say these two hidden people, like, these two mystery people, are given the power to do it. So, we know it's Toa and Mira. I'm going to go ahead and say, out of my theory, it's Toa and Mira. <clears throat> so, um, Toa and Mira has given them the power to travel through time and stuff. This is the reason why, in my theory is because they're up to something, they're good, they figure, hey, let's give these movie villains the power to travel through time so they'll get the heat off of us. Um, if you agree with me, make sure you hit that thumbs up button because, you know, why else would they do that? I mean, yeah, I mean, they want to destroy us and stuff, but I don't think they'll just give the movie villains those powers just for that. You know, I think they have a bigger agenda. <clears throat> so, um... Who's your favorite movie villain, guys? Mine's Cooler, because Cooler is just awesome. <clears throat> but, um, let's talk about the city, the hub now. In the trailer, the hub looked really amazing. I love the hub world. Hub world looks so gorgeous. Everything looks really cool. The hoverboards, the flying, all that looks good. Um, this is like the best Xenoverse game I've seen so far, so I really have to thank them for making this game for us fans. So I'm very thankful. I uh, do have a negative comment on my a negative feedback so they can fix later on. Uh, they already know this because us fans already talked about it before. But we want Saiyans with tails because we need to know who's a Saiyan, who's a human. So we can have a team of Saiyans, a team of humans where people is trying to make teams of certain race. Um, it's not fair for us Saiyans to be treated like humans. I mean, it's kind of funny the way it, you know, it sounds, but... It's not, you know, it's like having a Namekian be a freezer race, you know, have a freezer race stuff. They, if Namekians have their own stuff, why can't Saiyans have their own? You know what I mean? Um, there's several reasons why we want to tell. Is one's for the team bit, we'll get to tell who's a Saiyan, who's a human. Uh, another one is, yeah, we like the way it looks. Us fans really love Saiyan tales. Um, uh, Saiyan transformation for Great Ape would be really great, you know, because, you know, you gotta see the animation. Um, I mean, it, it doesn't really look that hard to add tails. I mean, especially when they already have it for Kid Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Go Vegeta and Goku and Vegeta. So, Gogeta and all of them have tails. Why can't a Saiyan race have tails? You know what I mean, guys? Please, please get on that. Please get on them with that. <clears throat> but I am very thankful of the game. The game looks gorgeous. I'm not saying Saiyans don't have tails, but I'm saying I haven't seen any Saiyans with tails in that uh, trailer. So, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say, guys. I mean, I, I, it's not confirmed Saiyans don't have tails. Don't get me wrong, guys. I don't want to start that up. But I'm just saying, so far, I haven't seen it. <clears throat> um, but, yeah, guys, is there anything you want to see in the game that hasn't been added or mentioned Please leave it in the comment below so we can talk about it and get it brought out so they can get the patching on it, you know, before the game comes out. Or hopefully, you know, because it comes out October 25th, uh, they're still adding small stuff to it, I heard. So basically stuff like voice chat, they could easily patch in there before the game comes out. Uh, they do need to have voice chat in the hub. That's one thing I really, really strongly suggest them put in because that talking with the keys is really not that good but it's okay I will have to say it's okay but it's not that good just using those hellos and I'm hungry and stuff like that those little comment things you get to put up <clears throat> um, but for the people that don't want voice chat there should be an option to turn it off so you know everyone should be happy that's my th uh, feeling for that, guys. I hope you guys feel the same way. If you do, make sure you hit the thumbs up, share this video. Make sure you bring it up in you know, comments and stuff. Let them know what we want to see added into the game. Um, There's another thing I heard from a group. They were talking about it, and I agree with them. I'm going to go ahead and bring this up. Um, teams. Like, you know, people only get to have two people in a party, like a total of three. 
um, there's a group of five that wanted to go in as a team. It may sound like a big number, but as long as they make the quest more difficult, I don't really see that being a problem. You know, they should have at least five people on the team. So, you know, there would be like an option to make it the quest harder. It, you know, would be fair, you know, or make the maps a little bit bigger. But we don't know how anything's going to be played out yet with team-wise. But um, people want definitely more than just three in a team. Um, I'm pretty much like maybe four, you know, but if people want to have a team of five, I could see them doing it as long as they make the quest a lot harder when you have a team of five. <clears throat> but yeah, guys, tell me what your thoughts are. What did you think of the trailer? Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention, I forgot to mention one little detail. It's kind of important. You get to go Super Saiyan 3. It's been confirmed, guys. It's been confirmed, and it's awesome. Um, I'm going to get into that. I'm going to go ahead and tell you what I'm feeling. That looks way awesome, and it's not just you go Super Saiyan 3. They took out the whole equipping Super Saiyan 1 and 2, and they just merged them all together. So you get to go Super Saiyan 1, 2, and 3. you got to keep powering up and hit 3, and it's really awesome, guys. you got to check it, the gameplay out. <laughs> so amazing. Now, my thoughts on Super Saiyan customization. I do not think they're going to have like Super Saiyan 3 customization. I think the hairstyle you pick is going to affect your transformation. So, yeah, guys, you might want to like, you know, check out some gameplay stuff later on before you get the game. Or if you're getting this game on day one, like me, and pre order and getting the pre order exclusive, I'm pretty sure they're going to have that. I haven't confirmed it, but I'm just guessing it. Um, Basically, I think the hairstyle you pick is going to be your Super Saiyan transformation. Basically, they already have stuff preset, so you don't get to customize it. They just have it preset. So if you get this one hairstyle, it's going to look like this. If you get another hairstyle, it's going to look like that. If you know what I'm saying, guys, just hit that thumbs up. And thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe for more content. And see you later, guys. And I'll be talking more about the gameplay later on. So, yeah, guys, thanks.